Well, I guess it's time for another update on the old land and sea. Um, just took that off uh, a few minutes ago. Let me see my tool still up there. We just got back done from a uh, five day camping trip and um, spoiler alert, that Suzuki put in some work. Um, out drive, it's fine. Stairs, fine. Paint, still needs to be done. Door, not finished. Um, but we were cruising across the big lake. Um, had my aunt Maz with us. And we're having a great time. Got home, got packed up, went on this camping trip for me and my, my wife. And get closed up for a little while um made it about oh two hours into the trip and uh engine died on the trip for me and my wife we were just crawling um i say like five six miles an hour we're doing like 1100 rpm barely moving and fun thing was the engine died and i just thought oh carburetors dang it well the yeah, engine bay is a disaster right now so get the engine started thinking oh, okay well it's just something stupid because you know i hate carburetors and i was like well let me just check the oil oh no i don't know if y'all can see that very good but that is just milky and about oh six quarts over full so, uh, that's what I get to do today. <clears throat> Pull this engine out of this boat again. Tomorrow, I'm driving 14 hours, give or take, round trip to pick up another engine. Um, a big block. And let's just say that, you know what, this boat is 6,000-ish, 6,500 pounds. You add water, you add fuel, you add people, you add food, copious amounts of alcoholic beverages, small blocks, while they can be exceptional, are not built for that much weight. There's a reason that they don't put small blocks in giant wreckers and, and stuff is that they just don't have the internal. This is a freshly rebuilt engine a couple years ago. I mean, it was, I wouldn't say brand new. It probably had like 5,000 miles on it when I got the engine. Everything about this engine is good and fine and nothing wrong with it. And now I blew either a head gasket or broke a water passage. I hope I didn't break a water passage or something. Um, probably a head gasket. Let's just call it what it is. But even when we were cruising across the lake, we were still only doing about 22 miles an hour. We were not topped out full speed. So this thing blew even without being pushed to the limit. Um, so there it is. Uh, I'll try to update you guys as get things done and I gotta get this engine pulled out here in the next couple hours. Um, my daughter's gonna be using the boat for a camper, like a day camp, day land camping thing. Um, so I gotta get this out, get it cleaned up, um, buttoned up, and uh, get it ready for her to go. So that's my plan today. First things first, this hatch has to come off. Yay. So, let me get to it.